This is the Daily Mail, Martin Samuel's column, and he's made a, a magnificent point here uh, because what he says is, uh, OK, Wayne Rooney, we're talking about him as being world-class, blah, 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 but if you look at Ronaldo, the Portugal's campaign, they started with a 4-4 with Cyprus at home, then they lost away to Norway, both without Ronaldo. Uh, they sack Carlos Quiroz, they bring, back, they bring in uh, Paolo Bento, and Ronaldo's return coincides with Bento's appointment in the next 12 competitive games, eight qualifiers, four in this tournament. Portugal have lost once. He has scored 10 goals and made three others. Mm. Let us not anymore say Wayne Rooney is world class when a guy like that can drag his team to the European right. Championship quarterfinals. And you know why the, uh, Paolo Bento's got the best out of him? Because he's played him in his best position. Under Carlos Quirez, Carlos Quirez wanted him to play wide and track back and help his team out. Paolo Bento has done exactly the same as what Jose Mourinho has done at Real Madrid, and he's indulged him and said, actually, you're going to play in one of the wipes, but you can drift, you can come into the centre, you can go right, you can go, go left. So, right. Wayne, so why don't, it's difficult why to don't we do up. that with Wayne Rooney? Or Steven Gerrard and play him in his but, best position. Because, I mean, Wayne Rooney, we've generally played him in a second striker role, occasionally as a centre forward, but generally as a second striker, where he's supposed to design the play, link the midfield and striker. It's... Well, for, for all the reasons at tournament, he's never been fit, he's never been um, psychologically right, he's never been well conditioned. You know, I think it's, you know, we talk about, um, someone said Horro Hudson, in a, in a coach, that is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I said, he, Frank, I said Frank, he's not. Frank, I said he's not. Frank, 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 Frank Lampard, Gareth Barry, both got muscle injuries, injuries coming to the tournament after exhausting seasons because they were overplayed. John Tay shouldn't have played against Belgium. He was... Um, we we're very, very fortunate that he even managed to play and every game in the tournament mm. came in with a hamstring injury. That is not innovative. But take me, back to, Wayne Rooney. Wayne take me Rooney, back to Wayne, Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney has um, had six weeks, no matches. Why was he not playing practice matches? Yep. My, why were they not getting him in condition on the training field? You might say, oh, we can't, there's no teams to play against, no international teams to play against. We can't put him against a pub team. He might get injured. Very true. But we, the FA have massive resources. We've got conditioning people, messieurs. We've got fitness experts. You name it, they've got it. Why is Wayne Rooney not in a fit condition? Wayne, answer Wayne, that question Wayne, for me, Ken. Wayne, simple. Wayne Ro Ro you've got to remember, Wayne Rooney was banned for the first two matches. Croydon Roy only had, only had three weeks to work with that. He had to prepare for the first two games. Now, as much no, as... Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, we know since November, but if you're preparing, for the first two games of the tournament, you know Wayne Rooney's not going to be there. What year day? You need to create a team without Wayne Rooney, and that's why he's played the the Carols. But that, and that, the, that, and that, the, Dan's uh, question, question was, no, and the very good question is, why was he not in condition when when we when we needed well, him? Well, that is, the reason. Well, that is Dan again. That's Dan the Well, let me right, ask you this question. Let me ask you this because before we went to the VT, you said if you were a player and he came in, you'd be asking questions of the manager yeah. if you'd done your job. So why did Roy not say, look, I'm going to stick with the team I've got, but I'm going to play him? maybe 20, last 20 minutes, last half an hour, get him to build up his fitness so that maybe by the time, OK, it was only one game before this one, but at least it would have brought him in gently rather than just throwing him in and making it look as though he, we're enthralled to this player. It's easy for us to be wise after the event. Well, if I don't it, think it is, it, no, Perry, no, because we if, were saying if this it beforehand. Out, if it had left him out the Ukraine game, right, and we hadn't kept the ball and we were struggling and we'd have drawn... Roy Hodgson would have got crucified by not playing his best player. The, the mistake Roy Hodgson made, when I agree, and I said it even before the tournament, is that he didn't play any games. He didn't, as I said before, the Norway and the Belgium game, he should, play, play? he should have played in one of them. One of yeah. them at least. Yeah. The, the, it should have been the last yeah. game. I think the last game was against Belgium, Belgium, Belgium right? Yeah. So he should have played in that game. Came on, and also, with the, with the, res with the resources that minutes. we do have, careful, right, minutes, you could have had, come on. you could have taken an under 21 side over. Right, yeah. put them in a hotel and said, actually, we need Wayne Rooney. Um, we've got two games before the Ukraine game. Yeah. He needs to play one full 90 minutes to yeah. get that rustness out of his system. You could have flown him over, yeah. you could have played a practice match and then flown him back. So but it's easy to be wise, but this is he's got all this yeah. supposedly expertise, right? Mm. And when he played against Ukraine, he was he was he wasn't match fit. No, he, he had, a goal, he had but no he legs. Wasn't, and then I thought when he scored, then that would improve his um, performance by another twenty percent because mm. of confidence. And you've had a game. Mm. He actually, I thought he was worse 
um, in, in the next in, game, in, in yeah, the next game when it was against Ukraine. But well, look, if you're watching us on the Sky Channel 480, we are uh, talking about the England performance last night and in particular for the time being, Wayne Rooney. Get in touch with us, let us know what you think. Don't bother coming on and saying we're having a pop at Wayne Rooney. He enjoys all the adulation, the big contracts. He enjoys all the trappings of fame. He's got to take the stick when it's coming to him and he didn't play well last night and he didn't play well against Ukraine. Get in touch with us at Sports Tonight TV. I know Kenny's champing at the bit to disagree with me. Also, you can Skype us, Sports Tonight Live, and you can phone us, 0207 291 0868. Kenny. Well, the thing is, you're talking about match fit and Wayne Rooney's playing games. Two years ago, in the World Cup, Capello got castigated by the press and by people in football for, for basically playing... Um, Having a sort of training camp where the players were trained too hard and there was no Ru rest. Kenny, Kenny, yeah, Kenny. The same, yeah, Ray Hodgson is giving them these players rest and they get the same. Kenny, and that was your we're, 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 we're talking the about yeah. Rooney. We're talking yeah. about Rooney and his getting, lack of condition. This, the point is getting that player in condition to play. I'm not saying, oh, we should have had a three week training camp dinner. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying get him in condition to play for. Every player's different. Every player's got a different build. They've got different, yeah. different, I, I, different, I you, different body, Wait, body composition. He's a big lad. He's a big lad. You know, like some of us in this room. He needs to be trim, but he needs to be so playing, he doesn't need to be in LA for a week, which was where he was. But you're talking about as if he's injured. He was not injured. No, but he's if not a player's come back from injury, if a player's come back from injury, then, then you have to rehabilitate him. No, he, he wasn't, he wasn't he was unacceptable. Well, he he should, it'd be interesting to see if the press boys, at minute Roy Hodgson's got this honeymoon period, right? Mm. Uh, he's, he's a nice bloke. I think he's completely schmoozed and he's wooed the press. Yeah. I, th I think that they've yeah. bought into this nice uh, sort of manager who's very safe, he's very polite, mm. and I, th I think he's completely bamboozled everybody. He's, he's the, the question right, should be though. to um, Wayne, about Wayne Rooney is how many practice matches, full 90 minutes, did he play in training sessions before he played against Ukraine? That should be the question. And if Roy Hudson never, says no, but if Roy Hudson said he didn't play any, then that's a dereliction of duties. His coaching yeah. abilities, because he should realise mm. that he's a player like Andy Carroll, and he's game after game after game, and he gets himself into a rhythm. In the World Cup in 2010, it was the outside. Uh, influences that he had mm. on him. He wasn't mm. mentally right. His personal life wasn't particularly fantastic. Mm. It had the uh, contract rails he made. That was that reason. And we've got Perry, to realise, well, the Perry, reason Perry, that he, Perry, Perry, let me put this, this to you. This let me put this to you. Since Ronaldo has left Manchester United, he's gone to Real Madrid, and you could argue he's got better players around him, but he has been easy, the player. He's still raises the bar. He goes to Portugal. He does the business. Rooney is still treading water. No, he has not known for Portugal. I'm sorry, yes, he hasn't always. He hasn't always, always done it for Portugal. Oh, no, I've just read you the stats. No, he's, no, no. He's, no, no, he's, no, no, no he's, he's doing it now because he's a better minute. manager. He hasn't always done it for Portugal. The Portuguese fans uh, always thought that... Um, Cristiano Ronaldo underperformed for Portugal the way that Messi does for Argentina. But this, the reason this for that was the management. Carlos Quiroz right. didn't deploy him properly, but Paolo Bento does. Has. I'm going to bring in some tweets right now because I'm, I'm not sitting on the fence tonight. I believe Wayne really cannot be called world class anymore when you put him up against the likes of Ronaldo, who are single-handedly dragging their team towards the Euro 2012 finals. 